Hi everyone, Mahesh here. Today we're going to talk about how to do migration percentage measurements on a pelvic radiograph. We frequently ask to do this in kids who have cerebral palsy or other neuromuscular causes of hip deformity. And this is a great way to give objective numbers and measurements as opposed to relying on statements such as mild, moderate, severe uncovering of the femoral heads. So here is a typical example that we get and we're asked to make measurements on. First, a few things to look at. We need to make sure the hips are relatively symmetric. Uh, and I do that by looking at the relative sizes of the obturator rings. They look pretty symmetric here. Uh, making sure that the very lower end of the coccyx is in midline with the symphysis pubis and the distance between the top of the symphysis pubis and the bottom of the coccyx is somewhere between one to three centimeters. I'd also love it if there was no rotation such that the iliac crests were at the same level, but that is something that we can correct for pretty easily. In essence, we're looking at the amount of femoral head that lies outside a vertical line drawn from the edge of the acetabular tectum, the lateral edge on both sides. So the best way I find to start to do that is to, on the left-hand side, click on this little triangle and choose the angle measurement because we do have to correct for that slight rotation. And what I do is I choose a landmark that is relatively symmetric. So you can choose the bottom of the ischial tuberosities, top of the iliac crests, or the teardrop distance. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to choose the bottom of the ischial tuberosities. And I go ahead and make an angle that's about 90 degrees, as close as I can. Close enough. Okay, and then I make six parallel lines, basically, and I'll show you why I do that. And I just go back to this tool here and just choose the line tool and I draw six parallel lines to this. Okay, so now we've drawn our relatively parallel six lines. I'm going to move them to the appropriate location using this arrow tool. The first one is going to be at the very lateral margin of that head. Second one is going to be the medial margin of that head. The third one is going to be a line drawn from the edge of the acetabulum. Similarly, we're going to do the measurements on the left hip. And then now we measure the various values and find out what the migration percentage is. So we're going from here to here and from here to here, which is the basically the diameter of the femoral head, if you will, compared to how much of that femoral head lies lateral to the lateral margin of your acetabular tectum. So our migration percentage will be 7.95 divided by 18.96 on the right and 6.36 divided by 18.26 on the left. Okay, and this is the template that we have that you can use to report these migration percentages. So right hip, left hip, we give some numbers as far as guidance, less than 30%, between 30 and 59%, and greater than or equal to 60%. This sort of stratifies what the risk is. Uh, and here are a couple of references for that. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.